Hello students, my name is Ms. Vrunda Vijay Patil and today we are going to see the subject that is C programming. In C programming, we are going to see the topic that is arrays in C. So let's move to the topic. So the topic as you can see is array. So what is array? Arrays are used to store multiple values in a single variable instead of declaring separate variables for each value. So now what is the difference between normal variable and array variable? So if you are considering the normal variable, it will store only one value for each variable, right? So if you want to store multiple values in a single variable, you will use array variable. Now to create an array, define the data type like integer and specify the name of the array followed by the square bracket means what? Which data type you are, you are going to store? You want to store numbers, you are going to store integers or you are going to store, store string which data type you require and that uh, data type you are going to type there. Now to insert values to it use a comma separated list inside curly braces that we are going to see through the example. So this is your example that is integer int means what this is your data type my numbers this is your what variable name and which are denoted using square bracket. So using these square brackets you can easily identify this is your array variable and how you are going to store your list in your array variable so you are going to store your list using curly braces and those elements you will separate using comma and your array uh, your array variable will end through the semicolon now to access an array element refer to its index number so what is index number so as you can see here we got the array list okay now what you are going to uh, how you are going to find out the index number so this is a zeroth index number always remember your, the index number always starts with zero and followed by the number so this is your zeroth index number this is your first index number this is your second index number and this is your third index number so what is the range of this index number that is zero to three fine so as we have discussed here array indexes start with 0 so 0 is the first element 1 is the second elements and etc this statement access the value of the first element 0 in my number so for that purpose we will see one example see so this is the example which is integer or this is your data type my numbers is your variable of array and this is your array list now we are going to print one uh, number for uh, for this example and we are going to print which number which is allocated at zeroth index so we will see we will use printf function for printing the output right so if we are we are going to print number so for that purpose we are going to mention percentage d over here so always remember percentage d is used to store or used to print the integer data type now whatever variable you are going to print you have to mention that variable over here so what is the variable name of our array that is my number and in square bracket you have to define or you have to put which index number you want to display so here we are going to display zeroth index number so as i have told you we are the index number starts with always zero so 25 is our zeroth position so of course the output will be 25 if we have written here like 1 so what will be the output of this example that is 50 why because after zeroth index the second index is 1 likewise your output will get changed now let's move to the another subtopic that is types of arrays in c so in C programming language, arrays are classified into basically two types. That is single dimensional array. You can also call it as a one dimensional array and second type we have that is multi dimensional array. So single dimensional array or multi dimensional array means what? Declaration of single dimensional array, we use the following general syntax for declaring a single dimensional array which is we have to first mention which data type we are going to require then we have to choose array name whatever name you want to define you can use here and which size what size you are going to put there and we are going to end that statement using semicolon now 
example for this is this is your data type this is your name of array and this is your size for array now initialization of single dimensional array how you are going to initialize of that single dimensional array so we use following general syntax for declaring and initializing initializing a single dimensional array with size and initial values so like as uh, we have discussed first we have to we are going to define which a data type we are going to use then we will provide array name how much size we are required for this array and the values of these arrays so see here we got the code so this is your integer data type then this is our variable name and size of array is now 6 so let's calculate the array list this is your first second element third element fourth element fifth and sixth so now you can see we got six element means the size of array is six got you now what is the index number of this array list so let's see index number is always starts with zero as i said so zero one two three four five so index number of this array list is zero to five means what six element we got in the list now we can also use the following general syntax to initialize a single dimensional array without specifying size with initial values. Means if user wants to uh, initialize array without specifying size, so it is also possible. How you are going to define that example then? So you just uh, have to, uh, like you can uh, write over here integer my number, this is your variable name and square bracket and uh, simply you can put any values as per your choice so likewise you can define your array list without entering or without mentioning array size now let's see the another example so the array list must be initialized if it is created without specifying any size in this case the size of array is decided based on the number of value initialized means as you can see here here we have not mentioned any size so according to this example you can put a number of values according to your choice and number of uh, variables according to your choice what if user wants to uh, your user wants to accept the character string right so how you will denote that now, until now we have some only integer data type so if you want to define or if you want to store characters you will use character data type so again variable name data type variable name and string so likewise in double quotes you are going to provide that string next all right so now we are going to see how we are going to change an array element to change the value of a specific element refer to this index number as i have told you how you are going to find index number now see here i have mentioned here my numbers is your variable name array variable name the index number is 0 and value of this index number is 33 now let's move to the example see here we got the first statement that is variable of array here we got integer my number uh, in a square bracket and we got the one q right as you can see the zeroth position of this list is 25 right and we are going to change that value so how you will change so my numbers zeroth location and is equals to 33 and again we are going to print that value so how you will print see printf percentage demands what we are going to accept the number right and whatever number we are going to print we have to assign that variable over here and this is your index number so what will happen over here the compiler will fetch the value of zeroth index number so what is the value of zeroth index number over here is 33 okay so 33 is value initially the value of zeroth location or zeroth index number was 25 and now we have provided new value that is 33 so now 
the output will pr print like 33 why because we have replaced the value of 25 by value of 20, 33 likewise you can provide new value to index number so we will see one more important uh, example like how you will print whole queue through a loop loop so see we are going to first start the program integer main function that is your initialization of your program then our compound statement will get started i don't think uh, this is very difficult to understand you why because we are going to see this statement again and again data type variable name and that whole queue now integer i see this is the basic difference between two variables here you got the variable array so in this array you are going to see multiple variable in this one variable multiple values in this one variable and this is your integer i you are going to store only one value over here so value of i is zero so that's it you are not going to change that value again and again right so see for i is equals to zero i is less than three and i plus plus now value of i is equals to zero we are going to check condition whether it is true or false 0 is less than 3 so yes this condition is satisfied this condition is true so it will provide the first output that is 25 next it will increase the value that is i plus plus that is 0 plus 1 so 0 plus 1 will be 1 so it will check again 1 is less than 3 so 1 is less than 3 first index that is 50 again it will increment value that is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equals to 2 so again it will check 2 is less than 3 so of course it is true so it will execute this statement and your output will be 25 50 and 75 again now this 3 is less than 3 so this condition is false so your loop will terminate over here and likewise you will get this whole string as an output so i hope these points will understand by you uh, thank you so much